Hello everyone, my name is PJ and welcome back to my let's play of Final Fantasy V Part 19. Look at this, I found this cool artwork of all the main characters of Final Fantasy V drawn as cute little doggies. Oh my god. Crow is the most adorable, but X-Death is really appropriate. He just doesn't even look like he gives a shit. I expected him to be baring his teeth or something, but he's just kind of standing there like, yup, this is my life now. Doesn't even have his regular voice, that's his dog voice. This artist is named Emlon, so there's gonna be a link to her DeviantArt in the description below if you wanna go check her out. She's actually drawn a lot of the Final Fantasy series as cast as dogs, as well as some other games as dogs. Okay, so, last night, I did so much level grinding. So much. It is the longest grinding session I'd ever done, just because Everything in this castle is so damn powerful that fighting them just takes a really long time and they don't give much XP, so it took forever for me to get Krill to level 39. <sighs> I mean, I was already done gaining AP and, and stuff by the time I was like, okay, I really need to focus on getting to level 39. And then that took half like, the grinding session. The enemies at this point in the game just do not give enough experience for these kind of levels. I'm way too overleveled. But I did learn some new abilities. I mastered Monk for Krill, so she's got that done. I mastered Beastmaster for Krill, so now she knows Catch, which means she can catch enemies as any job. Whoopee. I also mastered Summoner for Lena, so now she has the Conjure ability, also known as the Call ability. And what that does is it summons a random summon for zero MP. Now, that could be extremely useful, because it can summon things that you don't have yet. Or it could just summon Chocobo and Remora forever. One of the two. I also mastered Dancer for Ferris, so now she has the Equip Ribbons ability, which, despite its name and description, doesn't just let you equip ribbons, it also lets you equip all dancer-specific gear, like the Lamia Tierra and whatnot. So I don't know why they never fixed that. To change the name, just like equip... dancer? I don't know. I also mastered Knight for Bartz, so now he has equipped swords. So now, if I ever changed him back into a ninja, I could equip him with swords rather than those piss-ass little daggers. Of course, I'd probably want him with rapid fire anyway, swords or no. Equip swords is really only a useful ability if you're playing as a class that can't wield strong weapons. Like at all. Like a white mage. Be useful for them. And finally, I also mastered Chemist for Ferris. I pretty much did nothing but master classes. Except for Lena. I leveled her up once in Blue Mage, but I've already seen all the Blue Mage skills. And what the Chemist gets for reaching max level, and this is really stupid by the way, they get an ability called Revive. Now on paper, it sounds useful at face value. It casts Raise, or Life, on the whole party for free. Now, why would you ever equip that? Because it's not an innate skill of the chemist, you have to equip it in order to use it. And you would only ever use it if everything went to shit. And even then, even if everything went to shit, what are the odds of you being able to recover from that, even being able to resurrect everybody simultaneously? They'll all just be at low health, and if you're in a situation where everything went to shit, they'll all be killed again before you can get them to full health. Why would you plan for a situation like that? Personally, I think Revive should be a free, single-target Life 2. That would be better. Or, make it a passive ability that gives you auto-life at the start of each battle. You can die once, it'll cast life on you automatically, and then it goes away for the rest of the battle. That'd be useful. I'd equip either of those. So that's it. You, you, you probably already noticed that I have Krill jobless. That's because I have everybody set up to try and get this stupid fucking level 3 flare. Since I don't need to worry about having anyone's level anymore, I don't have to worry about casting Discord. I don't have Dash on, so I'm just gonna kinda wander around here until I run into a red dragon, which is very, very common here. While I was grinding here, I noticed some unusual things. I don't know if this is a glitch that I did, or what. Hold on, I gotta kill this thing. 
Now, as I was saying, you know those adamant golems that I was running into? Well, I found that if I use Bolt 3 Sword on them, then they die instantly. Like, no damage value even comes up. They just die. It's so weird. Also, Drain Spellblade has a much higher chance of success than attacking with the Blood Sword. Probably does more damage, too. Okay, I'm running into these yellow dragons a bit more often than I'd like. But they're worth 6 AP each, so that's cool. Come on, red dragon. God damn it. Well, at least I can show this off. Look, I used both three on Bart's. Okay, then I attack the golem with both three sword. No damage! It just dies. I don't know why that's happening. Is it a glitch? Is there just something about that one enemy? Or something about the Mystic Knight that I don't know? Okay, come on, I can really use a red dragon right now. Are you freaking kidding me? Yeah, but look at this. Do you see how much damage Krill does as a freelancer? Just because she's got Monk and Berserker both mastered? She gets both of their strength bonuses. It's nuts. <sighs> I'm just gonna wander around until I run into a red dragon. They were common before. There's one, but I don't have to deal with a freaking blue dragon first. God damn it. While I was grinding, Bards actually had to solo a fight against one of these things. So I learned how to fight it. Can't control that monster. I actually get a message when I can't, so I could control the yellow dragons. I was just failing a lot. Okay. Okay, I need to replace the ice brand with something. Yeah, but this entire episode's probably going to take place in this castle, because there's still quite a bit to do, including three bosses. Just gotta hurry up and kill this blue dragon, while keeping everyone alive. Because, unfortunately, one of the most useful blue magic spells in the entire series that originated in this game, of course, since it's the origination of blue magic, is the last available blue spell in this game. Oh, but it will be so useful once I finally do get it. There. Blue Dragon's dead. Now I just have to control this thing. And have everyone else defend while I get around to it. Come on. Control has a 40% chance of working. Flat. So I don't know why it's... There. Finally. Now I cast Wall on it. And Krill is level 39, so this should hit her. Level 3 Flare. You know, I was thinking about it. It's possible that... Oh, there we go. I was going to say, it's possible that it's just that, um... Oh, if the controller dies, then... They stop being controlled. Interesting. Yeah, I was thinking that it's possible that it might be just that the Red Dragon... Uh, well, level 3 Flare is just a single target, and it wasn't hitting Bards or Ferris. Or either of the- right, I forgot, I put Reflect on it. I can't talk and play this game at the same time, I do not have that kind of concentration. Man, I'd better not die after all that trouble to learn this ability. Whoa. Did you see that counterattack? Holy shit! That did over 2,000 damage! You know what? Crow was the one that learned it. Let me get Ice Brand back on you, I'm just gonna kill this thing. Cause this thing's weak to ice and Crow is just one bad mofo. Look at that. Ugh. It's beautiful. And I learned level 3 Flare. Finally. I'm only 20 minutes into the recording. Okay, use a cabin, get everyone healed up, give Krill an actual job again. Which is a shame because, god, she's powerful in this form. Okay, I was training her to be a dragoon, which is why she was in the back row. Because I think spears have reach, like the Morning Star and the Whip. I'm not sure though. Air Lance is not a lance. I don't think a ju I don't think jump improves its attack power, so switch her to a Gungnir. And remember to get rid of bone mail. 
Actually, let's just give you the strength robe. Put you in the back row. There we go. And save. Now I'm only missing four blue spells. Mm-hmm. Okay, now we can finally continue. You know, I wonder if it's Bolt 3 sword that does it. I wonder if any sword can do it. Do your regular Bolt sword do it? Because it would save me some MP if it could. It's so weird. Yeah, 1600 damage with jump. Awesome. And Bart's leveled. Yeah, because that one fight that Bart's had to solo got him quite a bit ahead of Lena and Ferris. So now he's no longer all the way in the back. As far as the leveling goes. Anyway, moving out of the castle. That is a lot of... damaging liquid. Ooh, and what's that? It appears to be a summon orb, similar to what Shiva was. We should probably find our way over there. Okay, well... Ferris, time for you to take that off and put on... Actually, let me put passages on real quick and take a look around. I don't see any. Okay. Then I'm gonna put... Damage Floor on you. Okay, now can I get in here? No. I'm probably gonna have to fall into there. Or go down the stairs, whichever. Um, hmm. Two yellow dragons? Oh my god. Well, I beat them before. I beat them when I was much weaker than this. I can do it again. I'm just gonna keep everybody at full health. Especially Ferris, because they like attacking Ferris a lot for some reason. How do I know if Spell Sword works? Not, well, Sleep Sword, that is, to be specific. Yeah, I have Lena with the gold hairpin on, so all of these spells cost half MP. I can just spam them all day. And you know, a single yellow dragon is difficult enough to defeat. But two... It's crazy. But once I kill one, I won't have to heal as much. There we go, okay. One to go. There we go, I did it. It took a shit ton of MP, but I did it. Okay, well, you can go up those stairs. Is there anything over here? Oh, more stairs. Oh, treasure chest. 8,000 go. Okay. Hm. It's weird because this part of the wall didn't look like stairs at first, so I was surprised to see it. I was wondering what the point of this area was. Okay, guess we gotta go up those other stairs. Shit, I remember this fight! Oh no! No, 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 no. I was underestimating it. I was wondering why the shadow looked so weird. That is not one blue dragon. There's actually three blue dragons stacked on top of each other. That is not fair at all. Why would they do this? This is such bullshit. Now I need to work double time to keep everyone healed. I was wondering why I was getting so many attacks, I thought it suddenly gained the ability to counter-attack, but that's not the case. Oh dear god. See? Double blaze. It's crazy. Fucking dragons are crazy. And Lena's dead. Right as she was about to cast Cure 3 on the party. <sighs> yeah, see? There's another one. One died, but there's still more. It's ridiculous. I'm wondering if this was actually a glitch. Okay, seriously? I mean, it's fine. 
I mean, Bards can solo this, but the Aegis Shield, he absorbs both ice and fire. Now, let, let's just get them down to one blue dragon before I try to raise anybody. There. Now there's only one dragon left, and you can tell because the shadow is the proper color. Okay, now Bart needs to start working on getting everybody raised. This, this could take a while. But now there's only one blue dragon to deal with, so... Cure 3 on the party. There. God damn, this is such a bullshit encounter. Although, now that I think about it, it's very, very similar to an idea the angry GM had about Paragon Monsters. A monster that acts like multiple monsters combined. And it has three hit point pulls, only one of which can be targeted at a time. And when one of those pulls is depleted, it loses one of its attacks. It's actually a pretty nifty idea, and it's weird to see an action in a game this old. There. I beat it! it took me ten minutes, but I beat it. Then I gained a level. I better get a fucking dragon fang or whatever. God damn. Now, can I please get out of this hellhole? Ah, thank you. Now. You'll notice there are a bunch of switches here, all over the place. I believe some of these are traps. Hmm. Wait a minute. If I leave this area and come back and resets, I wonder. If I cast float, will I go over the button? Will I not hit it? Well, now that wouldn't make any sense. But I, I know, I think I know what I'm supposed to do here. Let me give Ferris, let me replace Damage Floor with Pitfalls. Okay. You're guaranteed to hit that button. Ah, yeah, see? If you have Pitfalls equipped, then they'll be revealed to you as soon as you try to step on them. And now that it is revealed, I could fall into it on purpose if I wanted to. But I don't want to. Not yet. There we go. That re reveals this passageway. I want to grab that treasure chest before I do anything, though. Two lands! Yes! Yes, this is the weapon I thought the air lance was. It's a weapon that attacks twice when you hit with it. So... <laughs> I think there's only one in the game. I think. But if you actually had two of them, 
then you could dual wield them, and each one would hit twice. Combine that with rapid fire, and you attack 16 times. Although I don't know if they're Spellblade compatible, so it might not even be as powerful. Ah, no, it's a special weapon, like the Morningstar and all that. So it's not Spellblade compatible. I don't even know if they can be dual wielded. It might be a two-handed weapon. I wonder who can equip this. No one in my current party. Oh well. Oh, thank god, it's so nice to see some normal enemies for once, rather than goddamn dragons. Well, these are dragons, but th they're more like pseudo-dragons. Nice and weak and easy. <sighs> I should probably be killing that rabbit first, so I can't resurrect anything. Wonder if level 3 flare works on these things. It does. Ah, uh, yeah, that only costs 9 MP. Ho 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 ho. And, theoretically speaking, it works on one third of all the enemies in the game. I should try that more often. Ooh, secret save point. Or is it a secret? Do I have to come here? Yeah, I think I do. Anyway, cabin. Just what I wanted. Okay. And, yeah, I don't want to be in there yet. One of the bosses is there, but I don't want to miss out on that lovely friend over there. Hmm. How do I reach it? Maybe this does something. Ooh! Ah, uh, it teleports me here! Frickin' sweet, and I just saved! Okay, so I just need to prepare for a boss. And this will be the introduction of another friendly face that appears in pretty much the rest of the series. I think my current setup is good. Yeah, let's do this. Carbuncle. Spelled with a K because the translator's crazy. If you are stronger than me, I'll join you. Come now, let me see how powerful you are. And when you fight it... It looks big and creepy and scary and monstrous. But once it's actually in your party, it becomes the adorable little fluff ball that everybody knows and loves. Yeah, so this thing has constant auto-reflect. That's just its thing, is reflect. It's themed after reflect. But Spell Sword can pierce reflect. So let's give myself meself bio sword. And Red Mages can't cast shell. And damn. Oh, well, in that case, you switch rows, and I'll just have you physically attack. You jump, and you spam Blowfish, because that pierces Reflect. This isn't a terribly hard boss. All it does is spam Tier 2 spells on itself. Bounce them back at you. But you see what I mean about enemies loving to target Ferris? I don't know what the deal is. What the? Why does that keep happening? Bio Sword instantly killed Carbuncle. That isn't even the only way to instantly kill Carbuncle. You can actually use the Catoblopus on it and petrify it. Why is this happening? I need to look this up. Is it a bug? Is there a mystic night bug that I'm unaware of? Okay, so I have an explanation for why the adamant golem was being instantly killed. That's just what the mystic knight can do. If you infuse the strongest version of an of a creature's weakness to your sword, like if it's weak to lightning, then you use bolt three. Then if the attack hits, it will instantly kill them. So, because there's nothing stronger than bio, there's no bio two or bio three yet in the series. But, so Carbuncle was weak to bio? Wow, I did that by accident. That doesn't make any sense. It says it's only supposed to work on non-heavy enemies. Heavy is the type given to bosses. 
I guess it wasn't a heavy type. Wow. Okay, 11 AP. And? You are quite strong. I'm coming with you. Obtained Carbuncle. Yep. More summons. But there's still five more left in the game. Okay, then we come down these stairs. Hit this switch. And it teleports us here. Kinda weird. Well, anyway, let me just put damage floor back on. Okay, and I'm back at the save point. That's one of this dungeon's three bosses defeated. Okay, now I need to prepare for the next boss. I will need Ferris to equip Steel. And if she can... No, hmm. She shouldn't need the Thieves' Gloves. She shouldn't need them. I, don't, I won't need Preemptive anymore. I don't think I'll have to worry about any more random encounters from this point forward. Hmm, do I want Rapid Fire? I don't want this boss to go by too fast, or I might skip some of the AI script. Let's go with counter. Okay, cabin. Okay, save, and here we go. Although, yeah, you come into this big, wide open room for flashing pillars, and you see a single lone treasure chest. Looks suspicious, doesn't it? Uh, let's go over here and grab something real quick first, though. Hey, right, right up here. It should just be... yeah, a small room with two chests. Partisan? Is that a better weapon for the Dragoon? It is! Excellent. And a pinwheel, which is something that the ninjas can throw. Okay, let's check out this chest. It's empty. Hmm, okay, it's empty. So, we try to move on. And then Gilgamesh shows up. Gilgamesh! Ha ha ha! I've taken what was inside this box! Isn't this your castle too? Doesn't everything here kind of belong to you? Well, whatever. Gilgamesh again. Okay, let's start. Ah. Uh. I don't want to instantly kill him, but he's got to be a heavy type. He's got to be a tougher boss than Carbuncle. Hey, okay, steel. High potion. Oh, wait, I think I have to wait. Yeah. God damn it. Now I gotta cure blind on everybody. Break, dude! Come on! Oh, that didn't do much at all. Did I only do like six damage? What the hell? I probably should change Bart's spell sword, okay? Uh, how about just a regular old drain sword? You're confused too? Oh my god. Uh, Gilgamesh is a bit tougher than I remember. And this fight's only just getting started. Doesn't have anything. Okay, I'm gonna have to wait. And you are just a myriad of status effects, aren't you? Where's my mallets? Drops. I hate that the animation for Blind doesn't appear when it's your turn. God, that's a powerful move. Uh, High Potion. 
should be all you need. Yeah, he knows time slip. He knows quite a few blue magic spells that you can learn if you miss them before. Okay, Ferris, how much does your physical attack do? Okay, don't bother. You're on item duty. I don't need to- I don't need to cure Lena's blindness. She's not attacking. Right, let's just use a high potion on her. So... Let's see... This is our fourth time, huh? Makes me kinda happy. <laughs> Auto shell. Excellent. By the way, where's that jolly old man? X death. I see. Even though X death is our enemy. Ah, oh, goddammit. Even though X death and Gilgamesh are both our enemies, Gilgamesh still feels kind of bad for us. He sympathizes with us. Even though he's been trying to kill us anyway. Look, he's genuinely upset that Galif is dead. Because he knows us. He's just such a good guy. Okay. This is the end of my warm-up. Gilgamesh, change! Yep, and this is Gilgamesh's... I don't know if you could call this his true form. In most of Gilgamesh's appearances, he does have eight arms. Or just six. He just has multiple arms. Excalibur. Let me see your strength. 33 damage. Well, we know that's not the Excalibur. Because the Excalibur is sealed in that castle. We saw it. Oh, I should have stealed. I stole. Huh? Thirty-six damage. What the? Thirty-seven damage. Isn't that the strongest sword? Not your version. Gilgamesh! Got to steal. I'm gonna have to fight him again. Steal? Genji Hill. There we go. You worthless! To the cleft of dimension! D don't Forgive me! Silence! Exile to the cleft of dimension. Ah! Yeah, so Gilgamesh just got banished. Xdeath just poured a queen barrel on him. Excalibur. Yeah, it is sometimes known as that, but it's more commonly known and more endearingly known as the Excalibur. It's a fake Excalibur, and it typically appears in the same games as Gilgamesh. But the Excalibur is a weird weapon. Even though it was doing a different effect for Gilgamesh, in our hands, it always deals exactly one damage. And it ignores defense. So, those Skullkins, the Skull Eaters that we were farming on before in Bards' Planet, if we were to fight something like that, that only had one hit point, just crazy defense, one attack with the Excalibur would finish it off. As long as it hit, which I think it always hits. It's useful in specific situations. 
Yeah, but I managed to steal the Genji Helm right before he vanished. Ah, oh, yeah, look at that. Genji Helm, Genji Gloves. That's half of the Genji set. And of course, one thing I should probably point out is that in this game they call it the Cleft of Dimension for some reason, but it's officially known as the Interdimensional Rift. Level 3 flare works on those things. Awesome. Ferris gained a level. Okay. Now everyone's level 39. Just use a cabin real quick. I'm gonna have to switch out everyone's, um, abilities too. I'm going to need to change Lena's job, because I want her to have time magic this next fight. I also need... Oh, Lena's a blue mage, so she has learning innately. Hmm. Lena's the only one with decent white magic. I could give Ferris blue magic again, so she can double up on the healing. Uh, don't optimize her with Excalibur, you assholes. It, it says it has a hundred attack, but it's a lie. It's supposed to fool people. Like it fooled Gilgamesh. God damn it, now I'm gonna have to replace that weapon every time. Well, I'm fully healed. I'm saved. It's time. Wait, this chest is closed again? Okay, I guess it just resets every time. Whatever. Here we go. Twelfth floor. Or, okay, I guess there's more. Thirteenth floor. Is this it? Yeah, there he is. Let's do this. Don't try to stop me. X-Death, you can't get away with this. <laughs> do you even know what I'm trying to do? What? I'm returning the world to its original form. To a world of evil? No, you don't understand. I won't let you interfere. Okay, here we go. And this is a legitimate fight with X-Death. For some reason, his spells aren't as powerful as they were in his fight against Galif. I'm guessing it might have something to do with Galif maybe weakening him for us? I don't know. Right, but let's get Drain Sword on you. Jump. Oh wow. Holy shit, that changed everyone's rows. Uh, that's not good. I'll just change you back. Okay. Before I continue, he didn't use it. Because, yeah, I just remembered. When the fight first starts, he will use either a physical attack or a condemn, which is what I want him to use. So since he didn't use it, I'm going to reset the battle. He didn't use it. Okay, this part could take a little bit. I'm just gonna skip to when he does use it. Condemn, there we go. But he used it on Bart's. I need him to use it on Lena. I knew I should have given more people learning. Probably should have made Quill jobless. There we go. Use it on Lena. Now she'll die in 30 seconds, but all I have to do is make sure she survives at the end of the battle. Now I wonder if level 3 flare works on you. Awesome! Free flare! Well, not free, but really cheap flare. Excellent. Let's get fast 2 on everybody as well. Dispel? Oh, wow. You have Dispel? Damn. Okay. Ferris is going to die momentarily. There's no way to remove Death Sentence. Um... I wonder if I can slow him. No.
Okay, Kyochu on Krill. Oh, he really does not like us having haste on, does he? Okay. Phoenix down. Ah, shit. I didn't know he had Earthquake. Okay, as soon as Lena gets up, I'm gonna use an Elixir on her. Or just a High Potion, actually. It should be all she needs. Then I'm gonna have Ferris use White Wind, and then I'm gonna have Lena use Float on the party. Okay, the red White Wind isn't going to do as much as a Cure 2 on the whole party. I don't think. About as much, actually. Okay, bro, you stay on the ground until I can... Here we go. Float. Oh. God damn it. That's right, you better drain. Now uh, he takes our float away too. But that, you know what, that's fine, as long as it distracts him. White wind. There we go. Zombie breath? Oh shit, who all did that affect? Did it affect anyone? Doesn't look like it did. Excellent. But it did do a lot of damage. Especially to Krill, who isn't even down here. Yeah, you just keep wasting your turns, buddy. Uh, huh, take a blowfish. Eat it unprepared. No, how about the same effect? Okay, Lena, you need to cast Cure on Krill. Oh, shit. He knows level 3 flare, I forgot. Oh, uh, it's a good thing that doesn't do as much damage to us as it does to other things. Speaking of which, I totally forgot that he can he's susceptible to that. I should be casting that on him, not blowfish. Okay, raise Krill. Then Bart's you use a high potion on her. And then Lena, you use White Wind. This isn't going so bad. It's going worse than it usually does for me. I accidentally attacked with Krill. Okay, blue magic. Level 3 flare. Okay, now no one has float, so I'm just gonna put float back on everybody and he'll waste more turns getting rid of it. Cause the AI in this battle is actually smart. He knows who to target. Level 3 flare. Pretty epic fight, huh? How do you block a vacuum? I could understand maybe blocking, like, I don't know, fire or ice, but a vacuum? Hmm. Okay, this guy should be almost dead. Going strong. Everyone's at decent health. We got level 3 flare. <laughs> White wind. Oh, you're getting mad now, huh? on the double attack. Mm, no. Level 3 flare again. White 
wind. I should have had her cast level 3 flare and had Lena use white wind, but that's fine. Jump. He's not using Dispel on us anymore. I guess he's given up on that. There we go! I beat him! Learned Condemn. Awesome! The crystals! They're shattering? So now the four crystals of this planet are destroyed too. So what does that mean? What happens now? What is the result? Where did Exdeath go? Where did Gilgamesh go? What is going on? What's that? What's that music? What's this bright daylight we see? What's that? Castle Tycoon? Are we back? It certainly looks like it. Let's take a look at the world map. Oh wow, something's different. Something's changed. Well, we're just going to have to figure out what the fuck is happening in the next episode. So, thank you all so very much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, because I really appreciate it. If you want to support me on Patreon, there'll be an end card at the end of the video, and a link in the description below, alongside links to my social media. So, I'll see you all in the next video. Oh, come on, no, don't make it disappear. No! Fuck! Who did that? Who did that? I'm gonna fucking murder them. Break one of my own goddamn commandments.